Hello world, and this is Ms. Per. Happy and lucky to be at Eurogamer. And today I've got Nick standing next to me. Hello, Nick. How you doing? All right. I'm not doing too badly. Cool. And you're probably going to tell from this, these wonderful logos and colours behind us um, that Nick has the pleasure of running around with Razor. <laughs> what a pleasure it is as well. It's awesome. Best job in the world. <laughs> Beats uh, working for a living. <laughs> it does. And apart from being besieged by all the people trying to look at the new hardware and speak to yourselves, yep. we thought we'd pinch you away for a moment and yeah. take a chance to actually have you show us some of the new things coming up yep. that are going to be of interest to MMO gamers. Uh, yeah. What would you like to show us? Okay, so uh, I think probably the thing that's going to be of most interest to your guys is going to be the brand new Naga. Okay, so this this, here, this is that little beauty here. Here we go. Okay. okay. So, um, as you well know, it's an upgrade from the original Naga. We've gone full mechanical on it as well. So we've still got the 12 programmable buttons, which you do through uh, the Razor Synapse software, which is yep. free to download from razorzone.com. I have to get the plug-in. Yep. Um, and that works with all Razor products as well. Uh, and uh, basically, the, the idea behind the Naga has always been about when you're playing an MMO, sometimes you're going to have some extremely complex key presses, such as, I don't know, uh, you need to send your pet to attack a secondary target, something like that, and right in the middle of when you're kiting like crazy, you're just going, Alt, G, F4, right, like that. Stick it all on the button, press the button. There you go, job yeah. done, yeah? And that's why the Naga is so popular, and it is one of the best-selling MMO mouse ever. Okay, and this is why we've updated it now. So we've gone, like I say, we've gone full mechanical, which gives that far more positive press, and then we retain all the other features. So we've got high polling rates. Um, like I say, it plugs into Razor, Razor Synapse as well. And then, of course, if you're just using it just as a general purpose mouse as well, you've still got, it's, it's, uh, you've still got, you know, high comfort, yep. high ergonomics. Um, it's slightly larger, very slightly larger than, than the original Naga, purely because a lot of people have fed back and said, like, you know, we want something that's got a bit more yep. up to it. So that's what we've done, and that is the new Naga. Okay. Very nice indeed. Um, okay. And I believe this now is also available in a left-handed version. It is, yeah. We're not showing it here because I didn't bring a lefty hand one with us, but we do have a left-handed version. Um, and again, that is uh, part of Razor's ethos, is that we talk to uh, the gaming community, yeah. we talk to the gamers, we find out what it is that they want, and loads of them come back and say, this is great, but it doesn't work for me because I'm a left-hander. So we actually produce a left-handed version as well, which is selling immensely as well. Uh, and it's going down really, really well. Um, obviously, it's a much more sort of like niche product, yeah. but a left, I mean, a lot of our mice are ambidextrous anyway, so there's never been much call for it. But something like that where you've got to have one side is going to be devoted over to 12 buttons. Yeah, We've done a left-handed version to keep everybody happy. And when is the new mouse actually available? Is it available right now. Or available, no, no, available right now, yeah. So, so, so if you Lovely. want to, you can take a stroll straight over to uh, any retailer. Um, here at the show at Eurogamer, uh, we've got Scan and Game retailing, and you can pick the mice up from either of them. Lovely. And it's not just mice, of course. There's keyboards, there's an array of other bits and pieces. Um, and I believe a new headset as well. You possibly yeah, want okay, to show Yeah, okay, yeah. Well, recently launched, yeah. So we've got the, uh, the Kraken Pro in black. So here we go. This is this is the beauty. So this is based exactly on the exactly same design as the original Kraken okay. Pro Green, which is just here. Yep. But what we've done is we've made this one all black, again in response to people saying, you know what, I wear this headset out and about. I take this, I plug it into my uh, so we say music playing device, yep. <laughs> be that a phone or, or, or an MP3 player. I use it with that, but having bright green, it's kind of like it's a bit conspicuous. Can we have something which is a bit more street, a bit more modern? And so this is more of a lifestyle product. Yes, it's still a gaming product. It still plugs into your PC, but also this is for every day out and about playing music wherever. Be that plugging it into your amplifier. So when you're actually just playing to yourself on your guitar or your keyboards or any kind of musical instrument that's, you know, you can plug, plug headphones into. Um, or if, like I say, you're out on the street, on the tube, something like that, you know, DJ style headphones are very popular and this fits, fits that market. And this is, again, going down incredibly well. So okay. best selling headset, giving a little bit of a, a refresh so that, like, you know, you've got something which you can wear on the street without being bright green. Yeah. I, I still prefer the green, but hey, so that's my choice. So I, 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 I like the green, but occasionally, like, you know, it doesn't quite go with what I'm wearing. Absolutely. <laughs> now we've got one more thing we really want to show people that perhaps not so many people have seen and had a chance to go hands on with. But to do that, we're going to have to take a break and reappear at the other side of the stand. And as if by magic, we appear on the other side of the stand. And Nick is back once more. Nick, there's one more thing that makes up the, uh, the trilogy of components, I suppose, for that desktop we were talking about. Um, should we take a look at it? Yeah, OK, so it's the, it's the Deathstalker keyboard. Okay, this is a low profile keyboard uh, using what they call a chiclet design. Okay, and that, what that basically means is it's based actually around an American chewing gum. You get chiclet chewing gum, yeah. And so, what it is, is it's like this, this raised key design. 
Um, very similar to uh, a laptop keyboard, okay? So it's a membrane-based keyboard, but it's got some great features built into it. So first off, uh, you've got 10 key anti-ghosting. So what that means is you can press up to 10 keys simultaneously and it'll register each and every key press, okay? Which is really important when you're playing your MMOs and you're pounding away, okay? So um, you can basically go like that or you can just bash your head on the keyboard, it really makes no odds. It just depends so. what class you play. The yeah, exactly, yeah. You just like bang like that, just like, oh, the raid's dead again. Right, so, um, also you've got on the fly programming as well, so you can program pretty much any key to do anything you want, putting macros into those as well. It supports Razer Synapse 2, which is our online software, um, which stores everything to the cloud, so program it the once, and then when you log into your Synapse, whenever you are, on any machine, as long as you're using that keyboard, then it'll all download, and there you go, you've got everything programmed up for you. Um, okay. It's got green LED backlighting built into it as well. Again, controllable through Razer Synapse, so you can change how bright it is, if it pulses, if it's off completely, if you don't want it at all. Um, and also has a built-in wrist rest as well, which is actually incredibly okay. comfortable. And has our very cool uh, carbon uh, design on it as well. Very uh, good. Yeah, and that's basically the Death Stalker. Okay. Well, I may have to have a look at one of those, as we all know about the clicking that's going on in various shows. But with that note, and with no loud mechanical clicks, <laughs> thank you very much, Nick. Uh, this is MMOBuff.tv, and we've been spending a little bit of time at the Razor Stand.